making a difference, a citywide project designed to disrupt the cycle of violence and promote creativity. Leanne Trotter introduces us to Chicago Stories on the Block. What are you most inspired by? A few dozen young people from the south and west sides of the city are learning how to collect stories that capture the beauty of their neighborhoods. Nija Johnson lives in Inglewood. We definitely have more to offer than just the violence or us not having as many resources or what bad connotations that comes with Inglewood. This is the first phase of the citywide storytelling, visual and performing arts project called Chicago Stories on the Block. Telling these stories in a positive way gives people a different view of the people that are in the neighborhood and I think just we're trying to like invoke like a positive change. We wanted to highlight the stories of these young people. We wanted to see what the beauty of the community had and showcase that instead of focusing on the violence and focusing on what's in the media consistently. How to present the story is just as important as the story itself. David Gonzalez invited 12 other organizations to join in and help expand the impact. People are hurting, right? The world has gone through a trauma and the only way to address a trauma is to provide supports that help you to power through it. Empowering these young people to invest in their stories is a way to reinforce the idea that what they're doing matters too. It's really easy to say put the guns down. What we really want to focus on equally is what we're picking up. And we want these young people to pick up and be inspired by paintbrushes, by books, by narratives, by th themselves. The next phase of Chicago Stories on the Block involves artists like David Anthony, who will transform the narratives into murals. And there will also be a musical component. Reporting from the Back of the Yards neighborhood, Leanne Trotter, NBC5 News.